All right, we're gonna have a little shorter video today because uh, we sort I sort of want to do these a little weekly. Um, basically, what's gonna happen is you guys can join this Discord, obviously for support, and you can post your F8 airs in here. And I'm gonna be doing almost every single Friday is posting, uh, helping you guys solve these errors. So post your F8 air a screenshot as well as like the file. And uh, I'll just go through that with everyone and basically show you how to better read the air, but also fix it as well. Because it could just be a very small thing, which most F8 airs are. Um, so that's going to be hopefully every around every Friday if we can get enough posts in the airs video, uh, airs for videos here. Uh, but I am going to run through a few things that uh, will help you solve airs. So we're going to go through our Discord and uh, help you understand the reading of errors, basically. So we'll look at this one first. So we have script error. Um, okay, basically, this one, he just doesn't have uh, the correct lib, basically. But uh, to help you guys better understand this, uh, his dealership, uh, nil is nothing. So nothing is getting passed through this value of lib, which is uh, pretty easy to tell that he doesn't have the resource uh, basically started at this point uh, because nothing's getting passed through. Um, and that's what nil is. So we'll, we'll go through a couple of these. So actually I'm gonna scroll all the way down and see what we can get here. Um, no, we don't need that. So we'll just go here. So we'll do local script error. Okay. So this is, this is basically the same exact thing um basically no values so nothing so during what he's doing because uh he's starting well obviously you could see a, f a few things here failed to load script qb core shared local so it's not really getting any of this it's really not which is most likely going to be causing uh this issue here although it has it in a different folder but you can see attempt to call nil value so nothing's going to pass through new and you can see this happening twice and then nothing is happening uh nothing's getting passed through lane as well so it's basically the same errors and that's what nil is nil nothing obviously um there was a couple more that were a little more interesting um this one this one's just sql error right Oh yeah, so this guy just put, uh, this is just putting the table in wrong, and then his connection string was uh, sort of all fucked up, but uh, you can see a couple errors, like, uh, so SQL is very simple, especially when you use XAMPP, it basically tells you what the error is, so uh, in this case, table apartments already exist, uh, basically he was just trying to add a table that was named apartments, and it already existed in that table. So it was just giving him a bunch of errors. And you can see that a uh, couple things here. It actually happened here. Uh, so he gets a couple errors here and SQL error table proc doesn't exist. So it's basically saying the tables aren't there and then one is there. And that was his errors that he was just getting. Um, but it tells you, it really does. And I mean, that's just what happens. A lot of times it's just basically reading the error um, I believe there was, there was a newer one. Was it not the context menu? Oh, it was this one. So basically he just didn't read the line. I'm going to open this in the browser so you guys can see it a little better here. And once again, short video, make sure you guys hop in the discord. It's going to be first link in the description for you guys to post this. So basically he has this, um, and he's, he's had this problem where the target wasn't working. Um, one, it tells you right at the start why target wasn't working um this is the best thing about part about 5m warning target is not loaded should be started before action inventory so basically it tells you that it was never started before um and then he gets a script error here and basically just telling you how to read it uh tells you the line of code right here for most people i don't i feel like this is just very basic uh but it tells you where it is, so it's server.lua and then line 237, right? And then it, it talks to uh, license 2. And then expected symbol near EOF uh, for people 
that don't know what this means, uh, it means end of file. So at the end of file, there is some sort of symbol that is uh, causing it to error out. Um, I believe that was basically about it. We can go through a couple of these threads and see what we got. We got an SQL issue here. Let's see. Um, uh, 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 unable query delete from stash items so yeah uh very simple once again uh, it, it tells you you just got to make sure you read it a lot of times it's air query and you're just like oh what what the hell but then it says it right here uh table five on um, st stash items just it doesn't exist it's not there there is no table uh which is why it's giving this uh and same thing with alter table players uh players the table players doesn't exist either so that's why people are getting these errors um let's see if we could find one more need help with error what is this um uh, oh okay so yeah it's global lib and you can see here let me open it up so you guys could actually see so basically he gets the script error right here uh attempt to a nil value of global lib and uh, usually when you see these, it's mainly because the resource isn't started, uh, which actually shows right here in this script error, uh, as it gives you oxlib must be started before this resource. Uh, and that's that's the, that that's why. But on that note, that's going to be it. I will say if we get a lot more post in this airs video, uh, once again, just post your F8 screenshot. And then if you would like, post your file as well depending how many we get them videos will be coming out and i, I sort of want to keep this to help you guys understand uh errors better as 5m errors are one of the biggest i think it's like one of the most watched things right now on my page uh just because uh finding and solving the errors is one thing uh i think knowing how to read uh the errors like this video will teach uh is also a very good thing but I'll see you.